Whether it's ordering a meal or simply getting in the door, the whole concept of Signs Restaurant is accessibility. Whether they're in a wheelchair or they're, they're deaf doesn't make them any less of a citizen. Two weeks ago, restaurant owner Anjan Manny Kumar had this $4,700 custom-built ramp installed outside his restaurant, even though he wasn't able to get a permit from the city. We were not able to find out any possible way how we can get a ramp in, so we decided to you know, might as well put a ramp out and then let's see how the city will be able to help us. Instead, the city served them with this notice of violation, ordering the restaurant to remove the ramp immediately. The city stipulates there must be a minimum of 2.1 meters of walking space on a sidewalk. So by our calculation, the distance between those mailboxes and this ramp is about 2 meters and 7 centimeters, so 3 centimeters shy of that threshold. And the city says this ramp is a huge safety concern. The location that it's in does pose a hazard to pedestrians walking along the sidewalk right now for anyone that is visually uh, disabled. Um, it's like walking into a brick wall. But David Lepofsky is visually impaired, and the accessibility advocate says the city should not be fighting this ramp. They shouldn't be using our taxpayer dollars to impede efforts at becoming accessible. They should use their taxpayer dollars to advance efforts to make places accessible. Former Lieutenant Governor David Onley was invited to the restaurant's grand opening earlier this year, but had to decline because at the time the restaurant wasn't accessible. He says the city should be helping signs, not hindering it. The city says it will do whatever it can to help, but the rules state the ramp must be removed, something the restaurant refuses to do. Heather Wright, CTV News.